fuerza filial en un cántico nuevo al Padre que nuestra nada miró y por la alianza nos eligió sus maravillas queremos cantar y en el santuario al mundo abrazar vamos contigo Padre nuestra misión tu alianza tu alianza nuestra misión en el santuario nos diste un donde reinas María con nuestra agua debemos llenar las tinajas para transformar el mundo viejo en un nuevo jardín para gloria de la Trinidad Nuestra misión, tu alianza, tu alianza, nuestra misión, vamos contamos contigo, Padre, nuestra misión, tu alianza, tu alianza, nuestra misión. en tu corazón arca de nueva alianza obras milagros de transformación una nueva evangelización somos tus manos tus pies y tu voz al nuevo tiempo envíanos vamos contigo Padre nuestra misión tu alianza tu alianza nuestra misión vamos con vamos contigo Padre nuestra nuestra misión Padre profeta elegido por Dios seguimos tu camino por las tormentas y sombras de hoy mar adentro en tu corazón Padre de pueblos, llevamos tu luz, vida nueva en la alianza de amor. Vamos con, vamos contigo, Padre nuestra misión, tu alianza, tu alianza nuestra misión. Vamos con vamos contigo, Padre nuestra misión, tu alianza, tu alianza nuestra misión. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. A Gospel according to St. Matthew. The Pharisees went out and took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. When Jesus realized this, he withdrew from that place. Many people followed him, and he cured them all. But he warned them not to make him known, 
This was to fulfill what had been spoken to Isaiah the prophet. Behold my servant, who I have chosen, my beloved in whom I delight. I shall place my spirit upon him, and he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. He will not contend or cry out, nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, a smoldering wick he will not quench, until he brings justice to victory, and in his name the Gentiles will hope. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Dear friends, I'd like to send you a greeting for our Covenant Day in July. Slowly, uh, lockdown is easing and now it's possible to come to Mass again. All our Masses at the moment, of course, are in St. John Fisher's. But in greeting you for our Covenant Day, i like to remind you of our theme for this year, Under the Protection of Mary. We place ourselves under Mary's protection, particularly in these times. It's been over 110 days that we've experienced lockdown, and for some it's been a very difficult time. And we want to assure ourselves that we are accompanied by Mary in this time. Very often in Trinstadt we pray a prayer of God's divine providence. You know the way for me, you know the time. Into your hands I trustingly place mine. Your plan is perfect, born of perfect love. You know the way for me and that is enough. Here we see our trust in God's care, that when we put ourselves under Mary's protection, we need not worry. I'd like to send you a greeting from my home shrine and pray that you too find consolation and strength in your home shrines. I remember too, for this Covenant Mass, to pray for Ellen, Ellen Pastor, who you know has died. In praying for her, we want to ask that she may be given her eternal reward. We remember Michael and all his family. For now, let us pray. Mother, with your loving Son, bless us each and every one. Hi everyone. Um, many greetings from the United States. Happy Covenant Day. Today's Gospel talks about how the Pharisees conspired to kill Jesus and how Jesus found this out and withdrew. And when he withdrew, many people followed him and he healed the people who followed him, but he told them to not make it known. The prophet Isaiah said, he will proclaim justice. In his name, the Gentiles will hope. As we listen to Jesus in today's gospel, we'll see that sometimes necessary work is work that goes unnoticed and unpraised, but that doesn't make it unimportant. We've also talked a lot this year about what it means to be under the protection of Mary. And I think Mary is a great example of this gospel because Mary was only mentioned 12 times in the Bible. Yet we know she did important work. We know there are things that aren't mentioned in the Bible that she had a part in in raising Jesus to be who he became, to be a light for the world. I think I speak for most people when I say this year didn't go the way we had planned it, especially when it comes to Mission Manchester. The volunteers are supposed to be there right now, and I think a lot of us are disappointed we can't be there. But this gospel is a reminder to me, and hopefully my team and anybody else who has been let down by this year or feels discouraged, that sometimes necessary work goes unnoticed or goes unpraised. It's work that you put in behind the scenes is just as important as the stuff that everybody gets to see. Doing mission work behind the scenes is difficult and it's challenging because you don't know if you're reaching enough people. You don't know if you're reaching the right people or if you're saying the right things. But as long as we remember to have hope at all times and to keep our trust in Jesus, 
He will bring us to victory. We want to pray for Ellen Pastor, who sadly passed away a few weeks ago. We hold her husband Michael and their family and friends in our prayers. Oh, Señora mía, oh, Madre mía, yo me ofrezco del todo a ti, y en prueba de mi filial afecto te consagro en este día. Mis ojos, mis oídos, mi lengua, mi corazón, en una palabra todo mi ser, ya que soy toda tuya, oh, Madre de bondad. Guárdame, defiéndeme y utilízame como instrumento y posesión tuya. Amén. Vamos agora entregar mais um capital de graça para a mãe e pedir por mais uma boa semana. Lembrai-vos, São Piedosíssima Virgem Maria, que jamais se ouviu dizer que algum daqueles que tem recorrido à vossa proteção, implorando do vosso socorro e invocando o vosso auxílio, fosse por vós desamparado. Animado, pois, com igual a confiança, a vós, ó Virgem, entre toda singular, como minha mãe recorro. De vós me valho e gemendo sobre o peso dos meus pecados, me prosto a vossos pés. Não os prezei as minhas súplicas, ó Mãe do Filho de Deus humanado, mas dignai-vos ouvi-las propícia e alcançar-me o que, o que vos rogo. Amém. Remember, ó Most Gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or saw thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly to thee, ó Virgin of Virgins, my mother, To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate. Despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. Acordaos, oh piadosísima Virgen María, que jamás he oído decir que ninguno de los que han acudido a vuestra protección, implorando vuestro auxilio, haya sido desamparado. Animado por esta confianza, a vos acudo, oh Madre, Virgen de las Vírgenes, y gimiendo bajo el peso de mis pecados, me atrevo a comparecer ante vos. Oh Madre de Dios, no desechéis mis súplicas, antes bien, escuchadlas y acogedlas benignamente. Amén.